Okay guys, I'm uh, back here at the, at the back side of the field. So I did today that part along the road, but it's over the hillside, you can't see the road. And then all this side, just in a straight line, and over here. And I'm about to call it quits because, as you can see, the sun will be under. So I'll be returning to the car. Maybe I'll pick up some signals. We'll see. But it's been a good hunt already, so I don't mind. Okay, I'm returning to the car. See you soon. Okay, I'm still here. And I got like this. Um, how much was it? It was a, an AT signal. But. I'm not sure if this is a coin or uh, well it's a rather beat up coin or it's just a piece of brass we'll see at clean up I'm, I'm not very sure on this yeah okay on to the next okay you got a 66 68 at 10 centimeters and I don't know maybe it was a cufflink or a button, but it's got like a very weird type of shank, I believe. I don't know. It might be something else than a button, but it sure looks like a button. Moving on. Hey guys. And just a last one before she goes under. Uh, oh yeah, like that. You see how beautiful the sky is. And we have uh, one bullet tip. Happy with that. Normal signal about, well, it wasn't a normal signal, it was 57, 58. Well, yeah, that's quite normal though, yeah, for a bullet. Okay, and I think this is really, really the last one, so see you at the roundup. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome at the roundup. Uh, let's start with the trash. Well, I had this uh, big stake, uh, an iron uh, pin, and uh, has some red paint on it left. Um, I had a, a nail, another nail or hook thing, piece of metal, uh, a triangle nail. That's the same as a square nail, but, you know, tri triangular. Very, very old, this one. Um, a pull tab, piece of zinc. Uh, very thin, but gives a really strong signal. Folded lead, molten lead. Um, pieces of shredded brass. I had... Um, a few soda cans as well, well, beer cans, uh, aluminium cans, but I didn't put them uh, over here. <coughs> then we had uh, this thing that looked like a fish hook, but it's just uh, a wire with a little hook on it. We had uh, a percussion cap, looks a bit like this. Now. The one that was firing this rifle surely needed to get to uh, an arm smith because look where it hit uh, the thing. It hit it right on the side, you know. If this one misfired, who knows what happened? He might have gotten killed. So this is a very little uh, pellet. I think it's uh, lead from a shotgun cartridge. So not a musket ball or something. You know. This is a 12 gauge shotgun cartridge, and it says "Made in Belgium, 12 gauge." As you can see, there's a 12 on it. There and there, we have one bullet, bullet tip, lead filled. Uh, one um, cartridge, but it's very corroded. Um, then we have one back seal, but there's nothing on it. 
well, nothing anymore. And just this is a little button. Shank is gone. And as most buttons, it has nothing on it. Well, over here they have nothing on it. This one has something on it, like it's like a flower or something. It would have had a very thin uh, shank here, right there. See where it would have had a hole. This was a probable coin, but it isn't. It's just a, a piece of brass, I think. So I'll put it with the brass. And then we have the coins. So it um, it still keeps delivering. We'll start off with this one. It's this one is uh, I think it's 1600s. It has all sorts of stuff on it, but it's really hard to say. I can't read uh, any letters or or things on it. So this one will remain a mystery, I guess. Um, this one is uh, uh, I could see the the C and the H on it and uh, Stad, so it's another Stad Utrecht and this one is 1708 or 68 but I believe it's a 6 uh, so it's 1768 Stad Utrecht the other side uh, has the weapon shield on it Mm, yeah, like this. So, two standing lions, the shield of uh, Utrecht, and a crown on top. So, and then we have this coin where I whispered, Is this Roman? And the only thing I can make out of it is when I put it like this. And it looks, I'm gonna point with the bullet, it looks like over here you got the line of the bust, then you get like the neck, a chin, maybe a nose, and a bit looking up, like this. And then they have like here, like a hat. What I can see, and you might be able to pick it up, that is that here is a line made up out of uh, little dots like uh, it's a hat or a crown that is uh, decorated with like pearls or beads or something and the other side is just this so but uh, it has it has like a square on it or something but there's not much to see in it so yeah don't know what it is exactly but it's bronze, I know that, so, okay, that's all I know about this one. Um, and then we have uh, the best one of the heap, I think. It's my Roman. So, this is just, the scratches are not mine, you know, this, I just cleaned it with a, um, a nylon, uh, nylon fiber brush. So you can see here it has like the ribbons from his uh, rate, you know, with laurel leaves. Got like this headband. I'll use the bullet again. You get here, here is his eye, his nose, the line of his mouth, like that, his chin, his neck, and this is his bust, like that. But the text would have been all around like this here and here. And I can't see any letters, so I won't be able to identify him, I believe, but here you can still see the lines from his hair. So, there's some detail in it. Here's his ear. His ear is still on it. So, but normally the, the predecessor would have been here, and then his own name would have been here. Or if it was one of the earlier ones, his name would have been here. But, you know, I can't see it. It's just not there anymore. And uh, <coughs> the other side has like, what I believe is someone sitting on a chariot or something. 
and then driving with a, a cart or uh, a battle wagon of some sort I think so that's what I make of it so you see the legs here and then the body and two hands gripping onto the, the leashes of the uh, for the horses you know the leads for the horses also. so yeah I'm very happy with that one <laughs> my second Roman so and I know it's a bit of a rough condition and I won't be able to identify it probably maybe by the figure but it will be a long shot I guess so yeah but I'm really 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 happy with that one really really happy and so close to the road you know and you never know I did about 5% of the field now you know uh, I still might find some more uh, of this these fellows <laughs> that will be great so yeah that was it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and see you soon in a new hunt Bye-bye.